Hi. A couple of weeks ago, after installing the new Harmony Hub skill for the Amazon Echo and playing around with it a little bit, I discovered something very useful. And that is how to control a Sonos speaker through the Harmony Hub. Probably some people know about it. So for those like myself who were not aware that it was possible to do such thing, I'm um, going to right now take a look I have a Sonos Play One speaker and my speaker is actually over there so I am going to go through how to add it to the Harmony Hub and also a question that I have heard frequently lately is if it's possible to wake up to um, the Amazon Echo or the Sonos speakers or if it's possible to set up an alarm in the morning to uh, start uh, any of your uh, favorite radio stations. So I've been doing it for a while using my Sonos speaker and the way I do it is uh, by using my uh, SmartThings hub. So, But now I just uh, discovered that it's also possible to do it with the Harmony hub so this is great because you don't have to have the SmartThings hub in order to be able to wake up to uh, your music in the morning. You can set an alarm to um, wake up uh, using your Harmony hub or you can, if you have a SmartThings hub and you want to do it that way, you can also do it. Uh, one doesn't depend of the other, so if you don't have the SmartThings hub, you're fine. If you have the Harmony hub, it's enough. So. Um, that is great and I'm gonna show how I do it with uh, both ways. The first thing that we need to do is going to be in our Sonos app. We have to go to the Sonos app and um, by this time we have to have our Sonos speaker already configured and in our network. I have already made a video showing how to add a new Sonos speaker into your environment. So if you want to take a look at that video, in here what we will need to do is to set our favorite radio stations because we will need them later when we import them into our Harmony Hub and also into our or our SmartThings Hub. So that is very important and we need to do that. So first of all you have to go here and you have to go and try to look for a station that you have in mind. For example, in my case, um, I listen to uh, radio stations in Switzerland, so the one I like to hear is Energy in Zurich. So it's right here, you, uh, you click on it and uh, you add it to your uh, favorites and then that way I already have done that so if I go later on my radio stations they are already there Energy Zurich I have a couple Energy Zurich and Energy Burn so they are right there so now that they are here in uh, my radio stations I have all set it up on my Sonos app and now we can go ahead and um, do the work in either the Harmony Hub app or the SmartThings Hub let's get started with that First of all, uh, I already have added mine, but I'm just going to go through the quick process of searching for it, um, just uh, assuming that I don't have any. So if you go to your device list on your Harmony Hub app, you open your Harmony Hub app, you go to your devices, and then you go to your top left menu, and then if you go there to Harmony Setup, then uh, you go to add and edit devices and then you go and search for devices and then go and add device and then go to entertainment device enter the brand which is Sonos and then the model of um, speaker that you have here is the play one and then done and then add and then it will say that it will start scanning your network for your play uh, speaker and in my case it's gonna say that they already found it and I already have it in my system so that's not gonna work in my case but in your case if you haven't discovered it yet it will come up and it will add it and here it goes it's telling me that I already have it in my configuration 
So I have it here. The master bedroom Sonos speaker, play one. So now that it is on my devices, that's great. So now um, the thing that we can do is uh, we will need to create an activity so that uh, the Sonos speaker can uh, act as our um, wake up clock in the morning. So we go for that, we go and then Harmony set up again and then add and edit uh, devices or activities and then we go to activities and then we create a new activity so uh, we can say add your own activity has the Sonos speaker icon that's perfect how do we want to uh, call this so we'll call it Sonos in the morning done and then like that and then you just say which one of your devices is the one that you want to include in this activity of course we're just gonna say right now my Sonos speaker if you have more than one feel free to include all of them mm, Sonos speakers but in this case I only have one so I will do that and then that's it and so here it's asking you which favorite station you want to start with. So I have two. I have uh, Energy Zurich and I have um, Energy Burn. I like uh, Swiss radio stations, they have very nice music. So I'm gonna choose Energy Zurich. So I say next. So it's setting things up. So now I have uh, my activity here that it's called Sonos in the morning. So it's perfect. So now if we go into it, we can say a schedule. So we're gonna schedule it and we can say start time. So this is awesome. You can set if you want it to turn on at sunrise, which will vary depending on the time of the year, it's great. Or if you want a specific time, uh, I'm gonna set it here to six o'clock in the morning. And then uh, that's it and then uh, you can also select the time that you want it to start in my case for example I have it said that uh, at 8 10 o'clock in the morning it's most probably that I'm just about to leave to work so it's great that it turns off by itself and if if, if I haven't left by then then it's a good indication that I should be leaving really soon so I will set it to 8 10 a.m and then that's it now I have to select which days I want by default it's selected the whole week so I don't want to do this on the weekend so I just select Monday through Friday and that's it so you save it and there you go now you have your Sonos speaker that will start by itself in the morning. Now uh, you have a wake up alarm using your Sonos speaker and your Harmony Hub. Now what I'm gonna demonstrate is how to set up the wake up timer using your Sonos speaker and using the SmartThings Hub for it. So here we open our SmartThings app and we have to go first uh, here's all my rooms that I have set up um, in my environment of uh, smart things um, The first thing we need to do is to go and look for our uh, uh, Sonos speaker if you haven't added it uh, yet So for that in the new version of the smart things app things have changed a little bit. So it seems like um, at the beginning smart things doesn't have like uh, the best control of Sonos speakers or sometimes worked and sometimes didn't work very well so they didn't want to say that the, it was officially supported so from previous versions of the app they have changed where you can find uh, the Sonos speaker um, before you could find it on the speaker section which is pretty obvious but now um, it's not there uh, if you go there you will just um, see the Bose SoundTouch and the Samsung multi-room speaker so you will think that it's not supported anymore but um, 
mine was still working so I said it has to be somewhere so now they have moved them to this other section that it's called smart things labs so in that uh, uh, section uh, it says here now that they are specifying that it's not officially compatible and that they don't guarantee the performance of the device so now that's how they did it and now at the very end of the list you will find Sonos Labs so you go there and then you go and select connect now and it will look for your um, new uh, Sonos speakers if you don't have any yet in my case I already have it so I'm not gonna connect it but if you go to connect now it will look for your Sonos speaker like I said by this time you you should have done the original setup through your Sonos app and um, uh, having your uh, Sonos speaker in your ne Wi-Fi network, now you can come here, go connect now, it will look for it, and you can add it that way. And then you will have it here. I go to my home and I added it here to house. And here it is my uh, Sonos uh, master bedroom, I called it. So now that we have it in inside of our environment uh, in the SmartThings Hub app, we have to go and create our activity or our uh, automation routine so that it starts in the morning and it wakes us up at um, the time that we specify. So you go back to Marketplace and now here in this section, instead of going to Connect Now, you go to the one that says Top Smart Apps. And here you have um, uh, apps that have been developed for Sonos but are not officially created by um, uh, smart things so here there are two apps and there is the one that is called speaker control this is the one that we want and this will happen when uh, something is triggered that you are going to specify right now so here here's where we're going to set up when we want our speaker to start and here you have different options but the one we are interested in is by the time so here we go and select at a scheduled time. I'm gonna say that I want it to wake up at six o'clock in the morning, that's it. And then what action we want to perform. Here you select what you want. Here uh, I'm just gonna say to start playing because I wanted to start playing my radio station in the morning. And um, after that, what uh, speaker do you want? If you have more than one Sonos speaker, you choose here, multiple, or if you just want one, you select it there, and then here you select what name, morning, we're gonna call it morning, and then what mode you want here, uh, only if I'm home, so that's it, and here more options. Here it tells you what volume you want it to start playing at. I'm gonna say 40%, uh, decent volume. And then um, that's it. Uh, it has some other options here that you can go through them and see if it wants to play during certain time, certain days of the week. We're just gonna select Monday through Friday. I'm not interested in the weekends. So that's it. So once you have your time scheduled, you just um, are you are all set up you said your you chose your speaker uh, that you want to play your music you set your volume which days and everything the only thing that I miss saying is I was mistaken uh, if you select uh, start playing it will not let you choose here which station you want to uh, uh, select so you have to say you have to play a specific track and when you do that when you are uh, configuring it here it will ask you which track to play and then it will let you choose what um, a station of your favorite ones uh, you want to play so here I have specified this one and then uh, that's the only thing that was missing so now that's it and your uh, morning routine will be there here I have a few others that uh, happens um, that happen at different um, times uh, or by different triggers so but the one that we created for the morning is right here here we have I have all other routines that I have already programmed I have the one that I just created so it's called morning so here you can just 
Try it. Hallo, ich bin dazu gehört, ich habe jetzt einen guten Morgen, Raymond. Guten Morgen, sag mir, was braucht sie für oben alle zu machen? Und it is working. Was braucht sie erst? So, we want to stop it now. Nein. So, it works great. And that's it. That's practically how you set up your Sonos speaker to wake you up in the morning using your smart thing. Now we have seen how to do it using our Harmony Hub or using our Smart Things Hub if we want to do it that way. So I hope that was helpful and uh, I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.